Um, I was here when Pastor Philip was calling our church to get involved, and we were selling water bottles at our own church. Um, and just seeing the, how small that started and how it's evolved, um, it's, it's been so inspiring just to watch and be part of. Um, but yeah, it was, I think actually, I was on Facebook the other day, you know how they have the memories that come up? Um, I guess eight years ago we had a night of generosity, and it was at that one that they showed videos of um, cows going through water, dirty water, and the kids were there trying to take water from that same pool. And, um, ooh, it's like a tattoo of my heart. And they could never shake it. And um, from that point on, I was just like, I have to do something about it. So that night, um, I was only able to donate $100, um, but it made it in my path to God was like, I need to do something. So that inspired me to start and start fundraising for Wells. So how did you go about doing these fundraisers? Tell us about that. Sure. The first one I saved up for, um, and I was so excited to march in and, and give my credit card over to Jordan. <laughs> and say, I bought a well. And then, um, kind of like a tattoo, it just became like this thing about collecting more wells. Um, so the second one, when I turned 30, I asked my friends and family, instead of giving, you know, taking me out to the bar and giving me a drink, give me $10 and let's do a well together. Um, so my 30th, I was able to do a well that way. Um, the third one uh, was just with our friends. There were 16 uh, friends that I went up to and asked if they would donate a coffee a day for three months, and they did. And so me and 16 others uh, were able to partner in on that one. Uh, the fourth well, I saved up residuals. So anytime I got a check, I just put it away and I knew it wasn't mine, that it's God's money. So that was that. Um, number five and six and a half came from doing a dance masterclass series that we put on. And I'm really proud to say that uh, last year we were able to do one in India. And that one was just on social media and me just doing stupid videos on Instagram and asking my friends and family for $10. So. Yeah. Really incredible. Really incredible. When uh, Pastor Philip and I met with Misha not long ago, we were talking about a project that she's got on her heart, and she literally came with this book. It's, uh, I guess I would call it the old plastic style, a photo book, a photo montage of her uh, water projects. They were like her babies. It was unbelievable. Oh, well, they are. I have all of my like picture frames. Everybody else has kids. I don't have them yet. So <laughs> every corner has the wells open, um, and I do have one of the the gallon um, jerry cans by my door. So every day I walk by it and um, remember why I'm doing this. So. That's great. So just briefly tell us what's next for me, Lee. Um, so I know that it's not about just sharing this with my family and friends. I know that the answer is to get this to a greater platform. When more people get involved, when more people give $10, it's not about any one person giving $1,000, $10,000, that's not going to be it. It's going to be 100,000 people, a million people giving $10. That's going to be the significant change to this. And so knowing that um, there was a big God dream that was put on my heart, and um, it decided that we were going to do a clean water documentary. So what it is, is about to show the great wealth change in a village after a water, is, um, water project has been planted and the, everything that can change from it, but the simple acts of fundraising here that help cause that. So I need every one of you to do something so that I have something to cover <laughs> so we can make something cool out of it. Um, so we're doing the, the documentary and it's going to be called Wealthy Well. We have Instagram, if you can follow it, that would be great. And then we can go to Grant to show them that there is not only followers and supporters, but there are people that are really interested in the cause. And I think that's what it's really about. Is it doesn't even have to be monetary, that there's so much power in social media right now um, that you could just be posting and telling your friends and family to get involved and they will because everybody's looking to do good in this world they just don't know where to go and on top of it we also decided to put out a dance challenge today 
just today, literally. Um, instead of the ice bucket challenge where they're wasting all that water, we're calling anybody for a dance, a water-inspired freestyle. So that could be anything. And then, um, yeah, you can tag World Theme of Films and, and World Water Day 2019. And we just want to get the, the awareness out that there's 663 million people without water. So if people start seeing this weird water dance everywhere, they're going to ask what it is. And that's exactly the power of what happened with the ice bucket challenge, except for saving water. Amen. <laughs> Tell from the energy that she's got, that she's uh, ready and, and capable and able to do all these things. Let's give it up one more time for Tom, Lisa, Lee, and for the